All right, guys, moment of truth. What's in the box? Let's go. Ta-da. All right, probably not very exciting stuff for you guys, but very exciting for me. It's going to be a step up. By the way, I broke this. My bad. It's going to be a very big step up for the channel in quality, everything. It's going to be a very good step. Uh, we have manuals. Gonna set that aside. I'm not even gonna look at them. I'm going straight for the camera. So it is a camera, uh, if you guys can see. Panasonic Lumix G7. It records in 4K. And I also have a couple other goodies for it because as you could see, there's no lens in here. I got the camera and just the body. I bought the lens separately because I didn't think I was gonna use the kit lens very often. The kit lens that comes with it is one of the better ones. That's what I've heard. But I was still gonna plan on buying another lens and just to save money. To reduce the cost, I decided to not go with the kit lens, just the body. And I got the another lens separately. And we're gonna take a look at that in a little bit. Uh, we have the strap, the neck strap, the charging brick. You put the battery in here and plug it in. I like these because you could have multiple batteries, have one in use, and then have one charging at the same time. You don't have to plug in the actual camera. And I opened this earlier just to make sure the battery had some charge because I do want to test it out a little bit. So this was already opened, the battery. Panasonic Lumix. I need to buy another one and a data cable. It's just a USB cable. And that's pretty much it for the box. Now let's take a look at some goodies I got for it. Now first off, very important that we have a micro SD card and one that supports 4K quality because I am going to be recording in 4K with this camera. I have to completely tear this one apart. There it is and it comes with a memory card reader so the actual memory card is inside here. Very nice. Oh look, and it even comes with a little case for it. That's pretty cool. Here we have the actual lens. Now this is the 25mm f1.7 ASPH. And this should be really good for those b-roll shots. At least from what I hear. I did do a little bit of research and this is probably the most popular lens for it. It's only like 150 bucks, so for a lens it's pretty inexpensive. There's lenses out there that are like $300, $400. And some even like 700 bucks, even more than the actual camera. So I have to be very careful with this to not drop it. And it does come with a little lens cover, Lumix. And another cover for the back. And it also comes with this thing. And last but not least, I just got like a $10 bag on eBay. I'm not really going to do much, you know, traveling. I'm not really going to take this anywhere. But I needed a bag to store it. Make sure it's safe and not being scratched or picking up dust or whatever. So it has a couple pockets here. You know, not the highest quality, but it'll get the job done. As long as it stores the camera well and keeps it safe, I'm good. And from the looks of it, it does look pretty good. All right, now let's test the actual camera. By the way, I forgot to mention this. If you guys would have been following me on Instagram, you would have seen what was inside of the box a long time ago. I posted this picture before I even started uh, editing the video and all that stuff. So give me a follow on Instagram and leave a comment, whatever. I'll be following back a couple of you guys who follow me there. Just make sure to let me know that you followed me because I don't want to be following a random person. Nerdish YT Instagram. As you can see, I finally got a dedicated camera for the channel. By the way, if I'm looking over here to the side, that's because the screen's right there. Weird flex, but okay. So back in 2017, when this channel made the full transition to just tech videos, I used to record with my Samsung Galaxy Note 8. I still have it, but it doesn't work and it doesn't even have a battery, so I can't even try to turn it on. And now, since September 2017, since its release, I've been recording with my Samsung Galaxy Note 8. And this phone is actually really good, it has a really good camera, and I feel no need to upgrade to the next one. And since I didn't upgrade, I kind of wanted to experience something new in terms of, you know, camera quality. And actually, since I used to record with the Note 4, I've been looking at this camera, this Panasonic Lumix G7. So for a couple years now, I've been looking at this camera and I've been wanting to buy it, and I finally bought it, finally pulled the trigger, uh, but I'm still not completely convinced that I'm going to keep it. I'm going to see how it records here and there, and see if it really is that much better than the Note 8. Because the Note Note 8 has a really good camera, no doubt about it. So I recorded the first part of this video last Friday, that was like February 1st or 2nd, and I told you guys that I bought the camera with no lens, right? Just the body, and I bought the lens separately. However, that lens, it works perfectly fine, here's some footage of it, but it wasn't the one I wanted. Now at the moment I could only afford one lens, and I wanted a wide angle lens for a shot like this. If I tried to record this shot with the other lens, the camera would either have to be way back over there, or... If it was here, you guys would be staring like really close at my nose. For B-roll shots, it's perfect. That's probably the best lens for the money. That one's 150 bucks, but now I got this one. It's around $200, but it has a really wide angle lens and I actually bought it for 125 
because it was used. It's in excellent condition and it works perfectly fine as you guys could see so so in the end I ended up saving a good $30 around there and I am going to return the other lens because at the moment I don't have the money to fund it. I'm sure in the future I'll be picking up that lens again or another one but in the meantime this wide angle lens it's actually from Meek Mikey I don't know how you say it everything's going to be linked in the description below the camera the lens even the tripod I'm using and the little ring light that I have right here it's actually on the side. Even the microphone, I'll have it linked down below because I do use this in pretty much all my videos. And surprisingly enough, the microphone is only $15. So yeah, I'm not going to be using the camera's microphone because it's probably not very good. Here's actually some sample audio footage of the microphone in the camera. You guys should hear the big difference, right? That's the microphone in the camera and this is the microphone that I'm using here. And yeah, there are better quality microphones, but maybe in the future I'll get a microphone that goes to the top hot shoe, is that what you call it? I'm very new to camera, so this is a very good learning experience for me. So tell me what you guys think in the comment section below. Is this a worthy upgrade? I read all your comments, and I'll see you in the next video. Thank you for watching.